I'll probably try at some point. I mean, the reason that I'm not going back right now is not because I don't want to, it's because I'm not allowed to. I was denied boarding by British Airways trying to go back to Bahrain last August. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to try. I'm, go I'm going to have to be very strategic about it because I know that there is a big possibility that I will be arrested. And if I'm not arrested, there's a big possibility I won't be allowed to leave the country. So I have to make sure that the work that I'm doing outside can be managed by someone else uh, before I'm a I can go back and be in a position where I know I might go to prison for a very long time. Um, so I would like to go back, definitely. I think international work and international advocacy is very important. But if we look at struggles across history that have happened, change always comes from the inside. You know, the advocacy is important and being heard on the outside is important, but change comes from the inside. And I think at the end of the day, many of us will have to consider at some point going back to Bahrain and you know, doing nonviolent activism and civil resistance from the inside. I mean, I, th I definitely think it's important. Uh, three years into it, I'm not so sure how valuable I think it is. I think it's important that people hear our voices. Uh, I know that, that what the government has tried to do largely is to silence people in Bahrain. And so our job is to basically work as amplifiers. Uh, where people are not heard, we take their voices and carry them to the outside. That's our job. We're the middle person, basically. Um, but at the same time, you know, three years of traveling four or five times per month, every month for three years, and I don't have much to show for it, unfortunately. You know, we're in a position where international reaction to the human rights situation right now is worse than it, what it was when I started out traveling from one country to country and meeting with governments and asking them to have a better position on human rights in Bahrain. I am optimistic in general as to which the change is coming, whether it comes in my lifetime or not, but I believe it is coming. I just don't know how valuable trying to pressure the United Kingdom and the United States who are the closest ally to Bahrain in changing their position to be more human rights oriented is actually, actually is. You know, it's not, it's not realistic that they will change their position.